La Factoria. The elevator pitch for the show would be, and I'm not saying that this is the official elevator pitch for the show, it's what my elevator pitch of the show would be, and I'm positive it's not an original thought by any stretch, and 99.9% of the people that have watched the show would more than likely pitch it the same way as I'm about to, is that it's the Dominican version of The Office. Literally, as I said it, those of you that are in the know, I felt you say it with me at the same time. (laughs) And for those of you that don't know The Office, which some of you exist out there, I was actually one of y'all some time ago. I would say two years ago, maybe three. I had not, I had never seen an episode of The Office. I don't know how. It was just um, one of those shows that no me llamó la atención. I just wasn't like checking for, you know what I mean? And I liked certain shows, I guess you could say like within the genre, like Friends, which my wife, for example, is obsessed with. And I watched like back then Seinfeld. I loved, you know, Curb is amazing. But it was just like one of those shows that for whatever reason, you know, missed me. It's a huge show. You know, it's um, the original version was by hilarious comedian and comedic actor or comedian. Ricky Gervais, out in England, or somewhere on that side of the pond. It was remade as an American version, starring Steve Carell. And it's a show that helped launch his career. And anyway, long story short, I hadn't seen it a few years back. A couple guys that I used to work with, it's like their favorite show. And they were like talking about it, and I was like, oh, i never seen that. And they looked at me the way I look at people when they say that they've never seen The Wire or Breaking Bad. Like, it was, like, completely blasphemous to them. One of them convinced me to actually watch it, and I started watching it, and I wound up, like, binge-watching, like, all six, seven, or eight seasons, whatever it is. I think they were on, like, Amazon Prime or something at the time, and I was, like, downloading them on my phone and just, like, watching them on my commute, like, swimming from work. And it's a dope show. It's funny. It's the type of show that, you know, working in an office, having a nine-to-five, you know, cubicle-type job, you relate to it that much more because the different characters you can relate to some of your coworkers, or at least some of the traits of some of the characters you relate to some of the traits of some of your coworkers, and the lead protagonist and steve carell is like not the sharpest tool in the shed but is someone that a boss that had like a huge heart and for some reason things always seem to work out for him no matter how bad he fucked up and you get to see like the office politics that are, again, very relatable, and the bullshit that goes on there between different characters, you know, exacerbated and exaggerated for comedic effect, but but still, like, true at its core and very relatable. And La Factoria is the Dominican version of that show. You got a bunch of Dominicans working in un circusal. I think I said that right. And, by the way, I still don't know what the fuck that means. (laughs) <laughs> but it's like uh, similar to the office, same type of setup you have. Like in the office, they sell paper. Here they sell, you know, different goods. Uh, but it's like an office cubicle type setting. And they also have a warehouse where things get shipped from. And you have a mostly fully Dominican cast. You know, some, I'm guessing, like half Puerto Ricans, maybe full Puerto Ricans sprinkled in there. You got a token black dude, token Mexican. You have a little person on the show. Which, by the way, I can't think of ever seeing a Hispanic little person, let alone a Dominican little person, since I was, like, a kid. I can, like, remember un enanito named Nelson. Nelson el enanito, something like that. That I vaguely remember my parents watching on, like, Don Francisco, and he was, like, the smallest person in the world or something like that. But I honestly can't think of ever seeing a hispanic little person aside from on the show and he does such a dope job he plays like the mini me version of the boss of la factoria in a super funny way which is so much harder for him to do because he also doesn't like speak on the show so it's all like physical comedy and his presence alone in like scenes like steals him that's a a dope touch to the show and i just really like seeing you know, those same types of narratives that I touched on from the original office with the office politics and, the you know, climbing the quote unquote corporate ladder and office romances and 
dealing with like grimy coworkers and you know friendships and I really enjoyed seeing like all those narratives but with a hilarious and contagious Dominican flavoring to it all. But above all else, I really enjoy the like the creativity of the show, the like the feel behind it. Because even though like the premise is based off an existing show like The Office, La Factoria still comes off as so genuine and raw and authentic, which has to be that much harder. Because you know how they say that out of all like the players, like who's like the close, you know, the closest to Jordan or whatever, there's a sentiment that it has to be Kobe for the simple fact that, you know, you put players like LeBron or Shaq and, you know, different body types, different types of like game that they have, you know, goats in their own right for sure. But Kobe was so ill that he literally emulated Jordan's exact game and was still ill. You know what I mean? Like he didn't come off as like biting Jordan or anything like that. And he was able to make the game his own, which is a monumental feat in and of itself. But yeah, man, La Factoria is super funny. You guys should definitely check it out. I'm going to link to their YouTube page. Each and every one of the episodes, 12 episodes in total, if I'm not mistaken, are available now for your viewing pleasure. Let me shout out some of the cast here. Starting at the top with Agar Garcia, Brenda Raquel. Which, by the way, Brenda Raquel is my favorite. She is actually the reason why I found this show. Because I started following her, I believe, on Instagram a while back. And she used to put out these hilarious skits. Remember, one of the earliest ones that I could remember was, like, Dear Diary, like, Clueless style type shit. Like, um, the Blanquita from Clueless. What was her name? Alicia, Alicia Silverstone? Silverstein? Where she used to, like, write in her diary, like, Dear Diary. And, you know, you just hear what she was thinking. While she was writing, like Brenda Raquel put out some skits like that, but that were just like hilarious. And having like, you know, closer to like my generation, New York, Dominican type thoughts. <laughs> and I saw her on another uh, YouTube show as well, but I started following her from there, from from like IG. And that led me to this show. I was all in as soon as I saw it. So shout out to Brenda Raquel, Chelo Garcia, Cállate Chelo, Chris Grant, shout out to HR, Christian Rocha, D. Espinal, also very funny on, on Instagram, DJ Alimo, Edwin De Los Santos, Eric Henao, Felin Sanchez, Escarle Raposo, Ivan Castillo, which if I'm not mistaken is the creator of the show and writer of the show, and also very funny. On Instagram as well. Joel Reyes. John Calzado. Johnny Astia. Rafael Acosta. Reveda Gomez. That's a Dominican ass name. Rosemary Severino. Tommy Peña. Shout out to Tommy Peña. Hilarious. He plays the like Steve Carell character. Like the boss of La Factoria. Definitely steals the show. And Tyler River. Oh and a very special shout out to Chef Papi which is a Spun Today alum, has been on the podcast in the past, who made a cameo on the show in his actual food truck, by the way, which you guys should definitely check out. Amazing food. Steven Rodriguez, a.k.a. Chef Papi. Delicious food. Had his food in the past when he cooked that caoba. Had the food from his first food truck. And I know he has a new food truck now. Esquina. I-Z-K-I-N-A by Chef Papi which I'm sure is amazing as well. I'll link to all that good stuff in the episode notes so you guys can check it out. But it was definitely dope to see him do a cameo on the show. La Factoria cast and crew, you all have an open invitation here on the Spun Today podcast. I hope that goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway just in case. And if you ever need a mediocre Dominican podcaster to do a cameo on the show, estoy disponible. Hit me up. La Factoria streaming now. Check it out on YouTube.